Brooke, the school is calling again. What should I say? Tell them I'm still sick. It, it, it's, it's just been over a week now. Are you sure you want to keep this going? Who cares? My mother sure as hell doesn't. She, she might when she knows about it. She called this morning to say that she's coming back early from her business trip. Tomorrow. Then I guess that decides it. Tell them I'm coming back tomorrow. My dudes, guess who I literally just saw in the parking lot? Me. We were there together. Dude, no. Yeah, I I saw you there, but that's because we took my ride. To, we went we went there together. What are you talking about? Who? Huh. Savannah! Oh my dog! Sammy, guess who's back? I mean, we knew the piece was going to be short-lived, right? She's just like <laughs> too obsessed to leave me alone for long. But we're literally, like, so scared. She went totally psycho the last time she saw us. She, like, totally hates all our guts. What if she's gonna remove all of our fur? I mean, at least mine grows back fast, but yours will probably take forever. And we just don't have that kind of time. We have homecoming to think about. I don't think you have to be afraid of that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a dork. She looks Dude, so look at that. Look, like what? I think I she used to be important oh here. <gasps> oh wow, she's actually back. Hey, four eyes, take a picture. It'll last longer. Although, <laughs> I assume you already have. I have. The same ones you kept on the walls in your room. Pretty sure I was in them too. So, maybe everything that happened at the party went too far, but I didn't start it. It's not my fault that Brooklyn completely lost it. She needed a taste of her own medicine. A and if it had to be me to serve it, so be it. What happened to you? Oh, so you're talking to me today. Savannah, we know Brooke was completely out of line. We know she's more than a little crazy. But are you really going to be the one to kick her when she's down? The whole school hates her now. She doesn't deserve to be bullied by you as well. <laughs> you know, as I recall, she wanted to remove all of my fur. Which, by the way, is like, it's legally defined as assault, okay? All for what? For what? Being prettier than her? You've just become her. And maybe that's exactly what she deserves. She wanted an enemy, and now she has one. If you want to babysit her, go ahead. See how well she treats you. She treats her friends like crap. Me and Alicia are never gonna talk to her again. Cause the two of you were such angels. Let me know when you find that bracelet you stole, Rachel. You don't have to be like this, Savannah. I wasn't doing anything that Brooke didn't deserve. If you can't take it, don't dish it out, right? If Jenny and Lena thought I was being mean, They'd never be able to handle Mr. Kruger's physics class. Savannah, this is so awkward! I always used to sit next to Brooke in this class, and now she's sitting alone because you're in her spot! And I'm like, freaking out! It's just a desk, Alicia. They don't belong to anyone. Miss Reed, I see you've taken to speaking when not spoken to. Let's not make that a habit. Good morning, class. Good being a broad term. As you all know, coming up soon is the end of first quarter exams. As you may have heard from students who have taken this class before, I do not give first quarter exams, but rather a project in which you must demonstrate your understanding of physics by applying some degree of critical thinking. Something the other educators in this establishment seem to have no concept of. You will be required to design and run your own experiment that demonstrates your knowledge of one physics branch, be it electricity, energy, or forces. This lab report must be written in the correct format and must be original. If you copy from the internet, I will know and you will fail. Do we all understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad we're all in agreement. Before you leave, take a copy of the project rubric with you. This will be the only day I will provide you a physical copy of it. Anyway, we will pick up where we left off last week. 
with our discussion of Newtonian mechanics. I know she's in front of us, so she can't see us, but I'm like, just so worried that the brick is still mad at me. You should be more worried about Mr. Kruger being mad at you for talking. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I shouldn't be afraid of Brooke, but I am. To be honest, I always have been. I've never told anyone this before. Alicia, we're gonna get his attention. No, we're not. He can't hear There's you when he's talking. W me and Brooke used to talk downward. all the way through this class, Your so trust me. Um, gravity. Mr. Kruger, I believe your equation for forces along the y-axis is incorrect, as it should read the normal force minus the mass of the block times gravity times the cosine of theta, not plus the sine of theta. To prevent this from happening again, you really should define the coordinate system before starting the problem. <gasps> Dude, what? What? It's gonna be mercy, bro. Well, I stand corrected by Miss Hayes. Excellent observation, thank you. And the rest of the class should be thanking you too. If I hadn't been corrected here, every one of you would have copied my incorrect problem, not even thinking about what you were writing down, and would have studied from that further, resulting in everyone failing. As virtually no one here can think for themselves. I had no idea Brooke could do math. I did. Brooklyn was always smart. But no one at this school seemed to think so. Maybe something, or someone, had been distracting her too much. I mean, I hated physics, like, forever, but this honors class is seriously kicking my butt! And now Brooke isn't talking to me because I'm like totally sure she hates us and she's like planning to run us over with her car or, or something. I know, right? I'm like totally freaking out about it. I told you to stop worrying about her. If we just focus on class instead of talking, we won't need to worry about that either. What? Are you gonna eat like all of that? I, I was planning to. Why? Oh, like, no reason. You just, like, eat a lot every lunch. We only have one cheat day a week. I see. Vote for Megan Collins for Homecoming Queen! Oh my gosh, that's right! Homecoming Queen voting! How could we forget? Savannah, you should, like, totally should try to become Homecoming Queen. Why would I wanna? Because Brooke has been Homecoming Queen two years in a row! But now no one is gonna vote for her! Tell me what I need to do. Go on, talk to her. Why can't you go? For the hundredth time, because you're the one who had a rivalry with her. I have literally never talked to her. All the more reason for you to go. Tina, come on. Fine, fine. But if I come back without my tail, you're gonna pay my medical fees. I'll be right beside you. Oh, uh, hey, Brooke, uh, how's, uh, How's it going? Yeah, how's it going? Since when do you care? Well, we, we both see how, um, well, um, <laughs> if you're here to mess with me or prank me somehow, it's not gonna work. What you're looking at here is rock bottom. I'm sitting alone at lunch while everyone is laughing at me or keeping a mile distance from me. There is no way to make me look worse, you know, just in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, well, we're not doing any of that. It's called Trying to be nice? Ever heard of it? I don't think I have. Well, this is it. I know everything at the party got out of hand. And maybe everyone was a little to blame for things that happened and I... No, they're not. It was my house, my threats, and my words. No one else could have planned around that. I know you think I'm stupid, but I'm actually not. I don't need your pity. Man, screw this. Fine, Brooke, have it your way. Sit alone and have your little pity party. Have fun. Come on, Jenny. Everyone deserves a second chance, and that includes you. Let me know if you change your mind. Oh, wait, do, do you know what Savannah said about me, or or like I, uh, what she's been saying about me? Well, I do know that you really, really hurt her when she first came here. Now she has this idea that this is just payback. 
Sure as hell is that. I think you two need to talk. Obviously, you both mean a lot to each other and apparently have for a long time, even with all the years apart. If you just talk it out calmly and honestly, I know Savannah will hear you out. She's just really hurt. (laughs) What if she just brings her whole crew again to laugh at me? She didn't do that. We were all just looking for you both. Please, Brooke, give her a chance. I'll help you. It turns out that being homecoming queen means a lot more than just having the biggest false eyelashes. Alicia had been lecturing me for over two hours before mom figured that we probably weren't doing our homework. So really, when you're giving out cookies, you don't want it to be like in a desperate way, right? It has to be in like a, I'm just this nice all the time way, you know? The last thing you want is for everyone to be like, ew, desperate. So I'm thinking- They're just bringing you some study snacks. How's it going? Oh, it's going great, Mrs. R. Savannah's like such a great tutor. I can see that. In fact, she's so good that you don't even have any papers out. (laughs) Sorry, Mom. We'll be getting right to work now. You had better, Savannah. Your father isn't paying for you to go to this school just for you not to work hard. I know you're having fun, and that's okay, but you have to still think about your future. Of course. I understand. That's my girl. my dog! What a control freak! Parents are literally the worst. Always trying to ruin everything. Anyway, I think that while Brooke usually gave out cookies and buttons, you should do something a little different. I'm thinking, like, personalized cupcakes and mints, but what do you think? I think we really need to start doing our homework. Oh my dog, Sav! Don't be so boring! It'll be fine. Homecoming only happens once a year. I know, but... Hey, uh, Savannah, I I was just wondering where you are? Um, at home? You said you'd be here for the game. Oh, shoot. I, uh, I just got so caught up in doing homework that I I, I think I forgot. Maybe I'm just doing too many, too many AP classes. (laughs) Yeah, sounds like it. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm gonna be there for all of your games from now on. What? Savvy? No! All of them? Really? All of them? Because like I told you, the whole like schedule of of, of my games was like, wow, that, that's that's really awesome. I, I'd love that. You know, like even my dad isn't always there when I play, so that would be really awesome. Oh, gosh. Well, then I I guess it'll be you and me. Okay. Well, you know what? That makes up for it. So the next game is all the way down in San Diego, but don't worry, I'll get you there. Okay. Well, I, I gotta go, but. Oh man, this is exciting. Okay, bye. Bye. What did you say that for? The team has a match every Friday for the next ever! And most of them are like a bazillion miles away! Well, I didn't know that. Brooke never used to go, ever. Well, that's my whole thing. I'm trying to be better than her, remember? Okay, then. No cheat day, Sav. And with that, the beginning of my pressure cooking began. After a whole weekend of juggling seeing Sage, the homecoming plans, my salon appointments, and convincing my parents I was actually working hard, I barely had any time to do any work. So this Monday morning was gonna be rough. Even Mr. Burke had given me a C on my report. So I was more than a little terrified of what Mr. Kruger was gonna say. Still slipping further, Miss Reed. Now, I know that you can do better than this. I've been an educator for a very long time. If Miss Hamilton is responsible for distracting you in or out of class, I can have a word with her. No, that, that, that won't be necessary. Thank you. I, uh, I've just had, like, a lot of personal things going on this week. To my complete horror, it was a D. My dad was gonna kill me, and I was too far behind to get back to where I was before. Sab, are you crying? Oh my gosh, what did he say? I got a D, Alicia. Oh no, Savvy, don't cry, that's still a pass! Nailed it! <laughs> if only Dad saw it that way. Miss Hayes, outstanding work. How exactly you have turned your marks around to such a degree, I'm not certain. But whatever you're doing differently, just keep doing it. No one has ever gotten a 98% in my class before now. Thank you. Whoa! 
Whoa! What the freaking freak happened there? Oh my gosh! Who knew Brooke was smart? Do you think she cheated? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll bet she did. Probably paid someone else to do her homework for her. Makes sense. We should do that too. <laughs> hmm. I think that gives me an idea. Ooh, I like the sound of that. What is it? Nothing. We should just work harder this week. You can do it. Just go up to her and say, well, whatever you need to. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, save me the patronizing. Brooke, please. Are you seriously afraid of a little wiener dog? She's like two inches tall. Yeah, because I was totally going to go and beat her up. Thanks for sizing her up for me, Davis. Stop it. Stop. This has to happen. Me and Lena are going to go and distract Rachel and Alicia, and you are going to talk to Savannah just like we planned, okay? Fine. But I'm blaming you when this goes to hell in a handbasket. Let's go. For the record, I'm blaming you when this goes wrong, too. I know. Thanks, Lena. But I mean, you can't just have cupcakes with, like, your name on it. You have to, like, outdo Brooke better than that. I think you should do, like, a raffle with, like, a really huge prize. Like, I don't know, like a car? I like it! They're giving out detentions to any juniors who park in the senior parking lot? What? Right now? Right now! Did you hear that? Yeah! Gotta run. <laughs> Savannah, I... <laughs> what do you want now? What happened at the party was out of line. And I admit that. We both said things we didn't mean. Well, I know I definitely said a bunch of stuff I didn't mean. Because obviously it was all ridiculous nerves. From having to plan the party. As if I meant any of it. I want to let you know that I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm willing to forgive you for what you said. If you can forget what I said. Are you kidding me? Forgive me? I did nothing wrong! This is the worst apology you've ever made, and that really is saying something, Brooklyn. Savannah, I mean it. I don't want to fight anymore. You know, it would be just like you to say that when you know you've lost. I don't care what you want, Brooklyn. Not anymore. I should have stopped caring a long time ago. You know, this is your problem. This is it. You can't let go of the past. Newsflash, we're not 13 anymore. Get over it. You're the one who needs to get over it. What was it you said? Oh, yeah. I'm not the same person anymore. Well, that works both ways. You can't push me around anymore. You told me to grow up, and I did. So thanks. I'm sorry, okay? 